All right, hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Sager of The Lavender Project. And um, I just woke up, so I wasn't even um, ready to do a video today. But um, uh, I'm not going to school today because uh, I messed up my uh, knee. Anyways, um, I was uh, looking up on uh, YouTube some stuff. Uh, I was just looking through our videos. Um, we just uploaded our fifth and sixth video last night. Um, uh, and uh, um, I was looking at this video that uh, I have right here. Sorry, this is my... Um, brother's laptop and I'm on my brother's YouTube channel right now uh, as you can see dark pistol anyways um uh, I was looking through um, another video of intrals if you haven't seen intrals videos he does uh, um, a YouTube uh, spectrograph analysis basically of the soundtracks the 8-bit soundtracks in the original Pokemon games and um, this is actually a soundtrack that I was um, uh, looking at from Pokemon, I think it was gold version, silver, crystal, they're all the same crap, anyways. Um, he did one on the Lavender Town, uh, Missing Frequencies, and that was actually the one that we were, uh, talking about in our video when we did our own Spectrograph analysis of the Lavender Town music. And, um, basically I found this, uh, one video, uh, that he did, and it's a Ruins of Alf video, and now, uh, I found it on my computer, and I'm gonna show you here, I have the spectrograph thingy right here, I'm not even sure how to work this thing, but I'll try how to, uh, figure out how to freaking do this. And, um, anyways, as you can see right here, uh, here's the Ruins of Alf, uh, embedded image thingy-majiggy, um, and it's 8 minutes and 35 long by intro. And, um, I even posted, uh, uh, a comment right here about the thing, so let's go to it, uh, where's the mouse thing right here? Uh, go to the video and okay so let's pause it I don't want to listen to Ruins of Alfred now it's annoying wait is this on full volume no it's not Hayden like busted his speakers so he's retarded get that put it to 100 okay um so this is the actual video right here this is kind of hard to um, move the mouse thingy-majiggy while I'm recording I don't have anyone else to help me record um, so I actually posted a comment right here, and, um, it, my comment reads, uh, it, you can read it right here, that's what my comment says, uh, the description reads, don't listen within the first capital letters of the beginning of each paragraph, just like in the Lavender Town Missing Frequencies video, also by intro, which spells out, I am dead, probably regarding the fact that that description is about his departed friend Anthony, which is a re which is ironically my real name. Coincidence, purposely done, or paranormal? I'm about to make a video, which I'm doing right now, on my channel regarding this video, as I did with Intro's Lavender Town video. All right, so that um, is actually talking about uh, not the video itself, but his creepy freaking um, what's it called? Uh, dang it, St dumb mouse. His creepy description in the video. Uh, let's go to that right now. Um, and if you actually look at the uh, the first letter of each part in the description of each paragraph, it says uh, that one has a D, O, N, and then it goes down to T and L and I, and it says don't listen, which I'm pretty sure it's regarding to the song, and it's this is like a um, uh, a message uh, saying don't listen to the song, I'm guessing. Um, and I don't know if that's done purposely or not, but... Uh, it, it also um, appeared on his um, Lavender Town Missing Frequencies video, and um, that one spelled I am dead. This one spells don't listen. Uh, it doesn't go all the way down, um, but it goes to this text-free host thingamajiggy. So let's go to this, and then it puts in another tab, and it actually shows the whole thing. Um, let me show you that right now. Uh, so I found this kind of creepy, and I don't know if he did it by, by himself. Uh, like on purpose, but even if he did, that's still freaking creepy, and it's kind of boss. So it says D in defying, O in often, N in t new, T in the, uh, L in likewise, I in I, S in subs subsequently, two, uh, I mean T in two, uh, E in even, and N in e never. And then after that, that's the whole thing is done. That's the whole, uh, what the hell did I do here? The whole... Um, description, uh, and it says don't listen, so I found that kind of fucking creepy, um, 
So I'm just making a quick video on this. And also, um, the the main reason why I'm doing this is because I'm go actually going to play the video for you. I'm going to try to do my own spectrograph analysis. But basically, I'm going to show you the video uh, live right now. If you want to actually go look it up, you can. But um, let's play this crap. I hate the ruins of Alf song. Alright, so you can see the spectrograph analysis. Um, oh, you can see my glare in the little screen. That's cool. So this is the spectrograph analysis that he did on it, and he doesn't talk in this video. Uh, if you've seen his videos, he just puts on the song to a spectrograph, and, um, and he only has two videos, uh, these two videos, and they actually get uh, good amounts of uh, popularity. So this does this for about a while. Let's see, where is it? Ah, right here. Unknowns come in. Uh, just like in the Lavender Town, how it says, um... The unknown spell, uh, what did they spell? I forgot myself. They spelled, um, uh, crap. Oh well. Um, why am I forgetting this? Oh well, anyways, so let's go fast forward to right here. And so that's the audio distortion in the video. And it says, uh, if you read unknown fluently like I do, um, it says, our words shall remain here. For uh, what is that? A T? The ages. So our did it say our words shall remain here for the ages? Um, there was actually a guy that uh, also commented on this video, and there's more unknowns in the video. Uh, where's the next ones? I think they're right here. Whoa, that's kind of creepy. Thus we shall. What does that say? Shall erect a Pokemon statue? Statue. Um. Outside. And then, so it basically just does this for the whole video. There's a couple messages. I think there's like four of them. And let's go down. There's a guy that, as I was saying, commented on the video. Uh, also, and he said, um, he actually decoded this himself. Damn, long ass. Okay, and it says right here. This is what it says. Our words shall remain here for the ages. Thus we shall erect the Pokemon statue outside. We humans must learn to walk in harmony with them. They possess great insight and refuse the outside world. And then the last message is escape. So that's the whole thing decoded uh, in un unknown language, I guess. I don't know who the hell made unknown language. I was guessing the Pokemon people. So, I don't know how to work the spectrograph, but that is really interesting for me. And I, don't, I know the spectrograph sucks anyways. I think this is the bad one. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. This is the Ultima sound we used in the other video. So, um, I'm going to try to figure out how to use this thing. Um, I think, do you just press, press play and it works? Um, I think we're going to do, I'll try that. So, let's go back to the first unknowns and see if it shows up on here. Now, this is a bad spectrograph, kind of. So... It may not show up all of them, but it should show up some. So, let's see if this works. Press the little play button. Alright, that's not the thing that we... Oh, yeah, okay, so there it is on the bottom. Uh, so, I think that's how it's supposed to go, so let's check. I'm going to be quiet here and turn this on. Uh, okay. So as you can see, it kind of got it um, right here in the middle. It's kind of not, it doesn't look like this, but this is a bad spectrograph, and there was a better uh, way that Hayden did that. Um, let me see. I think it was this one, bottom to top. Was that in the first video? I think this is it. No, I think it was 45 degree. No, that's negative 45. It was this one. No, damn it. No, it wasn't that one. Top to bottom, was that it? I think that was it. 
No, damn it. I right to left? Huh. Um, I'm retarded with these things. I don't know how they really work. Oh, maybe it's a different kind of scaling. Let's try that. I feel like a dumbass here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I think that's how we do it. I think that's... Okay, let me let me try this again. Uh, let's see if it picks up these last unknowns. Oh, no. It already fucking passed. Damn it. Let's go back here. Okay, we should be good right there. So it picked up two unknowns right there. Yeah, do you actually have to go all the way back to the beginning? I think so. Hold on, let's go to the other part. Uh, it was like at 410 or something. And then it just does the song for a little bit, blah, blah, blah. No one cares about the actual song. The song's creepy as hell, but... Okay, so... Oh, holy shit, are you fucking kidding me? Dude, it has the whole thing. You, well, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but I can read it perfectly. That's crazy. Wow, so, um... Yeah, that that is, um... It's real, but the thing is now... Uh, the real question is... If this is something that uh, uh, he put in himself if intro put this in his own video or if this is legitly in the music now the only reason that i believe the lavender the lavender town missing frequencies video is not a, a hoax is because everybody knows about it and everybody's done the video before but no one's done a ruins of alf video so to me i don't know what this is but i just wanted to post this because it's really interesting to me and i didn't i thought lavender town was the only uh <laughs> creepy song in the game so I'll do some more research on this and I might make another video uh, I'll tell Martin and Brandon about this and Hayden too uh, he'll probably see it um, he's gonna be pissed because I like close his Facebook but um yeah so anyways uh, that's pretty much all I have to say for now I'll probably be making some more videos today or tomorrow I don't know we usually make at least one we try to make one video every day so uh, yeah uh, like and subscribe to become a TLP boss today and uh Oh uh, yeah, so I'll be signing off now. Uh, have a great day, guys. Bye.